Hello everyone. And welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Xander brings Victoria to Sarah in the hospital, where she is receiving yet another blow while EJ comforts Nicole. He anticipates seeing her mother at the handoffs, despite the fact that he knows he will miss her for the next two days. They give each other silly grins. Sarah, who is envious, inquires about his secret after he tells her that Victoria slept through the night. He reluctantly acknowledges that he sang her a Scottish lullaby. It is a plea to the angels to keep her safe from evil fairies who are attempting to kidnap her. Sarah jokes that she needs to so learn John it. Stops by they lose themselves in each other's eyes as they discuss herself. who Victoria Marlena most resembles. is aware that her patients experience difficulties this time of year. She receives a Jude framed photograph for her desk from John. She's overjoyed for Eric and Sloane. You know, concerned for Nicole, she brings up the DNA test. She hopes to get the assistance she requires. John heads out for coffee after Sarah rushes into Marlena's office. Marlena hears Sarah say that Xander makes her stomach do triple backflips. But Sarah and Xander are great friends and parents. She might want to maintain the status quo. Marlena inquires if she intends to do that. It's not because of how much history they have. Xander, according to Sarah, Xander, feels the same way. And Derby's Marlena and she to make steps in to defend to his celebrity partner. Xander hoped he would offer him some advice because John and Marlena's relationship is legendary. Especially considering that he has had his own encounter. With the evil side, John says without hesitation, I think you're an ass. And a mistake. John, on the other hand, is a firm believer in the power of change and growth in others. He is instructed by John to behave in a moral manner toward his child, which means turning over a new leaf for good. Xander asks Sarah, Sarah if he had done the same thing. Sarah says, home when she, she jokes that they the ought to have learned from their mistakes. Sarah. Xander suggests with sincerity that they might have. Perhaps we have, she says again. They agree to buy their daughter something they both want for Christmas and give it to her together. As a reminder of family, Sarah says they can put it in her room. John, a former member of the Chicago Fire and Bee, returns to Marlena and teases some home surprises. Fencing. Doc, you're everything well, to me. dreamily he at him, she taps him on the buttocks with, with her the foil. Johnny mixes his scotch them. with the water he's getting for them. He laughs when Holly asks for some as well. Maybe in five or six years. Tate sends Holly a text about their upcoming date. Johnny is asked if he wants to order dinner and after she cancels. Johnny and Chanel are going to the bistro for dinner. Holly responds to Tate's text when he abruptly departs to change. Paulina worries that Chanel is getting too serious with Johnny too quickly at home. They have been open about the past, Chanel assures her, and there is something between them that they should fight for. Chanel exclaims with excitement that she will also invite Johnny to Christmas when an exhausted Paulina mentions that she invited Abe. Additionally, the, the twins, today. Eli and Lainey, are Chanel returning of a home. Dream casting you Paulina star. informs her Chanel doesn't want to leave her alone tonight, but Paulina tells her to go out with Johnny and have a good time. She intends to immediately fall asleep anyway. Paulina rubs her chest with a wink as Chanel reluctantly leaves for change. Nicole tells EJ while eating chocolate cake at the bistro that she feels like she's coming out of the shadows. She considers whether they should have purchased a tree as she looks at the restaurant's Christmas decorations. EJ surprises Nicole with a Christmas tree and additional decorations as they return home. While they were out, he secretly texted the staff. As Holly and Johnny join them, she thanks him. Nicole expresses her appreciation for them all and their family from status. The mortuary. Johnny Nicole breaks down as she takes out a wooden box. It's the ashes of our baby. Another blow comes when Nicole thinks she is moving forward. AJ suggests that God is using this to provide them with a sense of closure. He suggests holding a funeral in the Demira Mausoleum with family. Nicole wants to be the only couple and scatter his ashes nearby. Nicole asks AJ to get her a scarf when they go outside the front door to a tree. He returns inside, allowing Nicole to privately request healing power from God. She begs God to take care of her precious boy until, by God's grace, they can get back together. Nicole weeps as she rubs the box and says, I will see you again, my angel. Additionally, your sister and brother. In the meantime, you will always be in my heart. Marley EJ wraps a scarf around square. Nicole's neck he upon his return. As he takes the ashes back the out of the box, she weeps. They he can fly or take a limousine to Chicago. Anything she wants. Holly tells Tate that she can't leave her mother as she watches Johnny and Chanel on their way to the bistro. Consider dining at the bistro. 
Tate happily leads her away, despite the fact that the plan is not particularly exciting. When Tate sees Johnny and Chanel inside the bistro, his face turns red. When she sees the teenagers, Chanel smiles. Since Johnny told Holly they were coming there, he assumed she would have mentioned her plans. Chanel believes on Holly has a crush on him because he hears of from Chanel how Chanel, annoyed Paulina uh, is that Lani Johnny hasn't returned home. Johnny suggests negotiating thing. with his father. Because you never know when your former mother-in-law might become your future, he is delighted to assist her. Mintry is now played by Peter Port. Tate tells Holly at their table that he knows they came because of Johnny. Tate has finished, but Holly plays dumb. Johnny is too old, so Holly needs to get up. But like from two to ten years drink. old. She removes an he ornament flees in a fit to a sleeping baby boy surrounded by an angel's wing. Yesterday, he placed an order for her. Without him, she would not have been able to get through this. He has the same feelings for her. According to EJ, they will hang it every year for their son on the tray. And we will never forget him, Nicole continues.